Hello, I'm Paul Peterson. I'm the Editor-in-Chief at Education Next, and the reviewer of our books for Education Next is Nathan Glazer, and he's here with me today. And we're going to talk about a new book out by E.D. Hirsch, uh, The Making of Americans. E.D. Hirsch has been very much a figure who has campaigned for content learning, not uh, learning skills, but learning real content in the mm -hmm. classroom. Mm -hmm. So, Nathan, uh, what would you say is the core idea of Edie Hirsch's work over the years? Well, it's it's a remarkable how uh, how important his idea has been. I think his book, his first book on cultural literacy, and then it's uh, all the subsequent work, but cultural literacy, I think, the most important education book in the second half of the 20th century. I would say straightforward, because of the shift from the notion of technique. And technique was certainly the notion of reading, you know, how you do it, whether you do it this way, whether you do it that way. And uh, to, to the notion of literacy, what are you reading? What is it saying? What is it trying to say? What does it mean? And the notion that it needs a background of knowledge, a background of knowledge that probably middle class kids can get a lot of in the home or so on. And... Uh, and working class kids will get a very different one and one that isn't very helpful for their education, et cetera, et cetera. But that background of knowledge is crucial uh, to understand what it is you're reading. What is Achilles' heel? Uh, you know, and, and people could attack him for that. But he then made a list. You have to know these things to know what you're reading about, just as if you were reading uh, you know, uh, something on a uh, cricket match, you'd have to know what cricket is and what the rules are before you made any sense of it. Well, that's why I can never well, understand a single article on cricket. And I've never been able to, too, and <laughs> where foreigners can't understand articles on baseball. The rules are different. It, so this is terribly important, and this led him into a movement. I don't know if he was intending a movement when he made this point, which was really took on the whole reading establishment, so to speak, in their arguments of whether it should be phonics or uh, whole word, because it was a different story. This is, okay, so you've spelled it out, you've figured it out, you've seen the whole word, what's it saying to you? And then he moved on from that to a movement. You know, his, his, uh, his uh, core groups, his schools, uh, Based, based on a core curriculum. He made lists for each grade. An amazing job. Okay, I'm in on this. Let's tell, I'm going to tell you what you need, what background you need in order to understand what you're reading. But you he's read. been very poorly received yes. by people in schools of education. Why right. is he so unpopular? That That is mystifying to me, since is what he does is so important. I... Uh, actually, we did have him once visit uh, Graduate School of Education, I remember, and I was delighted to have him. And uh, why is he so unpopular? Well, because I suppose her schools of education have basically not been based on content except the content of psychology or, uh, you know, uh, learning, how to learn. And, and the whole notion of a world of content, which includes... Uh, you know, uh, which includes literature, uh, science, uh, public affairs, is something they, they can't seem to manage. You know, they, you know, it doesn't, it's not their style. So what are they going to do with it? Now, it can be done, and uh, it, uh, as he's done in his schools. It's an effort, but uh, I, I suppose there's been, a, there's been a, an anti-content bias in schools of education, I would guess, and that's uh, that's a significant issue. Well, I remember when I was an assistant professor in uh, the University of Chicago School of Education, and they said, you know, there is no such thing as curriculum anymore. We're not going to teach curriculum yeah, anymore. Yeah. That was back in the 1960s. Uh -huh. And uh, so I think at, at some point they gave yeah. up on curriculum. They right. said, we do not have a theory of curriculum. Yeah. We don't know what to teach. We don't know what should come first and what should come second right. and all that. Right. Yeah. But and he's now gone back to that. A lot of mathematics. He, he says, says we know. do know what comes first. We do first. know, we do we know do what know. comes second. Yeah. And you've got to teach in this order if kids uh -huh. are going to learn. Right. Uh, now, so, course, now, what's the new book? This is the called The Making book is, of America. He's really, uh, he's, uh, well, after cultural literacy, there are a few more. And uh, similar arguments. He does keep up with school research remarkably and research in the field of education uh, as in the field of psychology, even though he's an English professor and I suppose still is. And this new book, he tries to extend the idea of literacy and cultural literacy to the field of citizenship and uh, 
uh, uh, being a citizen in public action. Now, this is a kind of challenging task. Uh, you commented in a discussion of a book we just had that the uh, the least popular course in high school is <laughs> is uh, is a physical education, but I would think maybe civics is, matches it. <laughs> in other words, this has been a this has been a very unsuccessful course, and uh, well, he hopes to make it more interesting, more relevant, more valid. In other words, to really, uh, you might say the. Uh, uh, well, what's the uh, content he wants in civics? Well, the, the, he, he wants, uh, uh, I suppose he wants less of a content of technique and, uh, you know, who is your congressman and who is your alderman and, how that, and a congress of, uh, a content of rules and the mechanisms, which are very important in politics, but never is one thing, and more a content of uh, uh, history and uh, significant uh, a uh, significant event and uh, uh, more content, really more like American history. So maybe is he trying to teach kids what government does instead of how to influence the government? I think that's one factor, yes. What, uh, uh, you know, uh, it's, uh, uh, yes, uh, away from, uh, very similar to what he was talking in cultural literacy, away from methods and into uh, more, uh, more significant objectives. And I think it's, a, in other words, an objective which can engage people more. You know, how do we, how do we get to this point and so on? Uh, and uh, it's a, now, of course, having set out his thesis, uh, uh, how to, you know, there was so much hard work in producing the curriculum, so to speak, the background materials necessary for cultural literacy, how you spell this out is another hard job. And uh, uh, I suspect he's probably, if he has enough energy and uh, life lasts long enough, he'll get into it. So we may hear some more from E.D. Hirsch. And yes. in the meantime, there's uh, another worthy book out there. So thank you very much, Nathan.